problem 1 find the torque of a force 7i cap minus 3j cap minus 5k cap about the origin which acts on a particle whose position vector is i vector plus j vector minus k cap so as we know that torque which is equal to position vector cross a vector that means if it is a cross vector means we have to take a determinant so i j k so the coefficient of the position vector and the coefficient of the force vectors are taken here as usual how to take the determinants very simple first you uh, take the i cap i cap and cross multiply these two things and we have to substitute minus so 1 into minus 5 minus 5 minus minus 3 into minus 1 plus 3 so it is a 3 then minus j minus j into 1 into minus 5 minus 5 minus of 7 into minus 1 minus 7 so already minus is there so we have to put plus 7 similarly for the k cap which is equal to minus 3 minus 7 so how we are, we are arrived at solution torque which is equal to minus 8 i cap minus uh, here we get the plus 2 then we have the minus so minus 2 j cap plus 10 k cap so very simple question directly force and position vector is given how to determine the torque for the cross product of two vectors position vector and force vectors we are studied in the previous lessons itself so this is a very simple question then the next question calculate the moment of inertia of a cylinder of length 1.5 meter radius is 0 0.05 meter and the density of the material is 8 into 10 power 3 kilogram per meter cube about the axis of cylinder so the radius length and uh, density is given so the moment of inertia formula is half m r square so we know that r value is already given 0 0.05 meter so what is m for calculating the m only they are given the l value and the rho value so r is a cylinder means it is a pi r squared is a base area and the height is l so we have to substitute the volume into density volume is area into length area is pi r squared and length is l and rho is a density substituting these values pi is equal to 3.14 and r is at 0 0.05 the whole square and L is a 1.5 meter, then density is 8 into 10 power 3. We get the mass value is 94.2 kilogram. Then the as usual, the moment of inertia formula, we know that 1 by 2 m r squared. m is a 94.2 and r is a 0 0.05 the whole square. So we get the solution 0 0.1175 kilogram. The next problem is, a wheel is rotating at a rate of 1000 RPM. RPM means revolution per minute and its kinetic energy is 10 power 6 joule. So determine the moment of inertia of the wheel about its axis of rotation. So very simple the linear frequency f is given that is a thousand RPM we have to convert into second. So one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So thousand by 60 is a value so 0 0 get cancelled then 100 it is a 60 that is a 50 by 3 rotation revolution per second so angular frequency is 2 pi into linear frequency so we get the solution 100 pi by 3 so as the rotational kinetic energy which is equal to half uh, i omega squared so kinetic energy is given in the question itself that is a 10 power 6 joule we substitute 10 power 6 here 1 by 2 i into omega squared so the omega squared value is 100 pi by 3 the whole squared then the rotational kinetic energy that is kinetic energy is 10 power 6 so keep it the i as it is bring all the terms in the left side so we get the solution i is equal to 182.4 kilogram per meter squared so directly they are given the linear rotation per minute so we have to convert into angular um, velocity then the kinetic energy value is half i omega squared so from that we find that i value then the next question, a torque of 2 into 10 power minus 4 Newton meter is applied to produce angular acceleration. Torque is an angular force, so the rotational forces act on your particle, so the angular acceleration is 4 radian per second square in your rotating body. What is the moment of inertia? So the relation between the torque and the angular acceleration and the moment of inertia is tau is equal to i alpha. Tau and alpha is given. So directly you substitute that. We get the answer for i. Moment of inertia which is equal to 0 0.5 into 10 power minus 4 kilogram per meter square. 
Next problem is a torque of 10 Newton meter is applied to a flywheel of mass 10 kilogram and a radius of gyration 50 centimeter. What is the resulting angular acceleration? So tau is equal to I alpha. We already know that in the previous problem we solved. So I is equal to M k square where k is a radius of gyration that is given in the question mass given and torque is given so tau is equal to i alpha for i you substitute m k squared so alpha which is equal to tau by m k squared so the what we have alpha we know that that is to determine the alpha tau by m k squared m is 10 and k squared is a 0 0.05 finally we arrive the solution that is alpha is equal to 4 radian per second squared then the next question is angular momentum of your body is 31.4 joule second and the rate of revolution is 10 cycles per second so calculate the moment of inertia so angular momentum l is given by l is equal to i omega so tau is equal to i alpha these are all the relations uh, of the linear and angular one. so the angular momentum and the moment of inertia and the angular acceleration is related as l is equal to i omega so i is equal to l by omega l is given in the question itself omega is equal to 2 pi f f is given in the question 10 so 2 into 3.14 into 10 so if you multiply this 10 we get 31.4 31.4 and 31.4 get cancelled we get 1.5 the 1 by 2 that is the answer i is equal to 0 0.5 kilogram per meter square dear students so this here the problems all the problems are directly substituted problems only so no need to worry about that so directly read the question carefully if you are thorough about the formulas in this lesson means it is easy for you to solve the problems of this lesson thank you students